Um, my name is Catherine Snow. I'm on the faculty at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, and I've done work over the last uh, 25, 30 years on literacy development and the factors that predict whether children are likely to be successful or unsuccessful in learning how to read. Uh, we've been working with teachers and um, district uh, instructional leaders to try to figure out what some high leverage but relatively modest changes in practice might generate. Uh, and where we started was with academic language skills, academic vocabulary. Uh, we developed a program called Word Generation that was designed to take only 15 or 20 minutes a day in, from uh, the students, but only 15 or 20 minutes a week from each of the content areas. Uh, the idea was we wanted content area teachers, math, science, social studies teachers, to come to understand the value of academic language in their own domains, in their own disciplines, and to start to practice some of the, th the skills that we know work well, which the non-ELA content area teachers have typically not taken as their own responsibility. The preliminary results from that implementation suggest that the program is effective, but of course, as with all such programs, the effectiveness is highly dependent on degree of implementation. And one of the interesting things we've learned is that the program was much better implemented in Boston, where the teachers had co-developed it with us, where they saw it as a response to problems they identified, than it has been in these other districts, where the teachers were, saw the value of it and were willing to do it, but they didn't see it as responding to their expressed needs in quite the same way. I think that's one of the big lessons for intervention research, that interventions need to not just respond to actual needs that students have and teachers have, but also to be seen to respond to those needs by the practitioners, because otherwise, why would they bother to, to implement them? They don't want to do things that they haven't understood the motivation for. I would like researchers, particularly young researchers and, and those of us who are not young but are working with doctoral students and, and junior researchers, to try to think about how the research they're doing is responsive to the needs of practice as well as to the needs of uh, publication. And I would argue that in acknowledging the complexity of working in domains of practice enriches um, research quality, and they should embrace that despite the complications, but that they should do this by finding other people, other like-minded people they can work with, because it's a very hard thing to do on one's own.